if your child is likely to create a medical emergency because of their cognitive impairments, for example, if they frequently remove their trach um, or their G-tube or their IV port because they don't understand the consequences of removing that, they don't understand that that's dangerous. I mean, I know my my little girl thought, oh, a toy. And <laughs> like she was constant, she still does, like, you know, pulling at the G-tube and doesn't understand what's gonna happen if that G-tube comes out of the stoma. Um, that's a situation when you can get protective supervision to monitor for a medical emergency because that emergency is being caused by your child's lack of awareness um, about what is gonna happen if they continue to, to pull on that, that tube or that, that IV. Um, and if, if you have a child who gets themselves into that situation, you already know it, you're nodding, you're saying, oh yeah, I, I, I get that. So document that, make sure that your doctor is aware of it. Um, you know that you have to have your eyes on your child at all time because of that. So make sure that the doctor knows too um, and make sure that that's on the form.